how I warm up y'all. It's how I warm up these pipes. Talk. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shakira Brown if you don't already know already I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by on my channel again. I also want to give a Thank you to all of my subscribers and all of the people who have been watching my videos. I've been on YouTube for about February, March, April, May For about six and a half months now and so far um, I've put up I want to say maybe about 15 videos so I want to just come on here and personally thank you guys for stopping by and watching my videos I just want to put that out there thank you guys so much for watching my videos I really 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 appreciate it so anyways let's go on to the video so today I have my very first hair video hair montage type video that I want to share with you guys um, the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I was thinking, I'm like, I've been natural for a year. Maybe I should do a video on that, just in case people are curious about, what do you want to say, my natural hair journey. Um, and, you know, they kind of want to see what my hair used to look like before, you know, the hairstyles I did, stuff like that. So this is not really going to be like a how I do my hair video. It's more of going to be like, what was my hair like before? What did I used to do with my hair? And I kind of just wanted to celebrate my one year mark of being completely and 100% natural. So I kind of wanted to share that with you guys if you guys were, you know, curious and wondering, you know, what I used to look like. I okay, so my hair journey, I guess it could start when I started perming my hair. I started perming my hair when I was about, I want to say 13 or 14 years old. And I stopped perming my hair when I was 26. <laughs> So that's like, I don't even know how many, how many years is that? Seriously. So that is about 12 years of perming my hair. A lot of just, you know, every six weeks, buying the little perm box and taking it out and mixing the thing together and perming my hair. So I did that for about 12 years. And within that 12 years, you know, I did a lot of, you know, different styles and a lot of braiding and all that stuff. I was never one of those people who always constantly, um, who always constantly wore weaves or wore extensions and all that stuff. I was, I was one of those people who always permed my hair and kept my hair permed. So let's fast forward a bit. So first, let me see what are what are some significant hair things that I did. One of the biggest things that I did in terms of like my hair journey or, or my hair evolution was um, I did cut off my hair about twice. I cut my hair off twice um, into like a short pixie cut and then I let it grow out and then I cut it off again into like a really short, like I shaved the back of my head and everything. And after I did that was when I started thinking about going natural. So this was about, I want to say, three and a half years ago. Um, so after that, you know, after I did that and, you know, a few months starts going by, it, it started growing back and, you know, I had thought about going natural, but natural to me at the time was like, okay, everyone's doing natural, so I should do natural. I don't really want to do natural. And a big part of why I didn't want to go natural was simply because I did not know how to take care of my natural hair. I didn't even know how to take care of my permed hair. I am like the worst person when it comes to taking care of my hair. I'm not a good hair care person. I, if I must be completely honest with you, I'm not a good hair care person, which is why I am so thankful and I'm so blessed that I have really good hair. Like, I have been blessed with good hair because a lot of people don't have you know, a, you know, thick hair like I do and, you know, the hair is very thin and they always ask me how, you know, I get my twist outs, why it's so full and I'm just like, girl, I don't know. I'm just blessed. So after I shaved off the back, I decided 
well, I wouldn't say I decided, but I was basically forced. My sister kept telling me, go natural, because at this point she was natural as well. She's like, go natural, it's good, you know, perming is so unhealthy, this and blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what, no, no. Perming is like, I cannot take care of natural kinky hair because it's just, it seemed, it seemed hard at the time. It's just like, I don't know what to do. Like, it was just, every time my mom did my hair, it was like the end of the world for me. Like, I would cry going to go get the pillow to sit down and all that stuff. I hated it. I just, I didn't like it. So the thought of going natural was just, no, I'm not going natural. I don't care. I don't care. Months went by and this and, you know, still kind of fiddled around with it and I don't really know what exactly happened to make me change my mind and decide to be natural. I don't think it was anything big. It was more of like, I don't know, it was more of like me just, my hair started growing back after I shaved off the back and I'm, I, that's when I, you know, I'm like, you know, I don't really know what to do with my hair now because it was in this awkward growing back stage so I put it in some weaves. Um, I, they crochet braids for about six months um, and I just kind of played around with it I didn't really know what to, I had I was in this awkward stage with my hair and I didn't know what to basically do with it so after about almost a year of just doing weaves and crochet braids and extensions and all that stuff and straightening my hair you know straightening my natural hair at this point um, my hair was about up to here or something I was on YouTube <laughs> I was honestly I was on YouTube and you know my sister at this point was just annoying me about going natural and it was always a no for me and it was always like no 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 no. So one day I was just on my computer and I was on YouTube and I'm just like literally if I were even to go natural how do I even do that like how do I take care of my hair like all I just know from experience is that my hair is tough and it cannot be handled that's all I know. So I'm just like I don't want to like do tough hair I just don't want to. Honestly, so I went on YouTube and I'm just like Literally, this is what I typed How to go natural like legit like how to go natural and then like a bunch of results came up and it's like You know how to grow natural hair and like this and blah blah and I watched a bunch of videos on You know natural hair journeys and stuff like that and one of the videos that really um, stood out to me is um Brianna, Brianna Rudder, The Natural Hair Bible. I watched a few videos from her and then I watched a few videos from other girls transitioning from perm to like natural hair. I don't remember the names right now because it was a long time ago, but Brianna Rudder really stood out to me because she had a lot of videos on natural hair. I will leave the link to her YouTube channel in the description box below if you guys want to go check her out. So that's when I learned the term transitioning from uh, from perm to natural because at this point my hair um, started to grow out from the perm and so like the ends were still permed and then the root was still natural so um, I learned that that's called transitioning and I'm like even if I were to like start going natural where do I start like how how do I how do I go on about this so I watched a lot of YouTube videos on that and you know after about two or three days I'm just like hmm maybe I could do this maybe i slept on it for a few days and i don't know i just kind of woke up one day and i'm just like hey i don't think i want to perm my hair anymore and then that was it <laughs> i'm like i don't think i want to perm my hair anymore so after that i uh transitioned for a while into basically staying away from perm and and at this point my hair is like up to here so i started transitioning and um I started uh, doing, my sister actually did my very first, my very first twist out and it was like the most, I, it was like this weird experience the first time that like I washed my hair and I saw my very first curl pattern, even though you know it still had little pieces of uh, perm in it at the end, but the curl pattern was like the most, honestly the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life because I didn't know that my hair looked like that. I didn't know that my hair was beautiful. I, I didn't, you know, I just, I whatever I had on my head was hair and it was just nothing to me, but seeing that curl and seeing that, hey, my hair is not tough and it can get a comb through it, that's new to me and I like that. So she uh, did some flat twist on my head. I had to learn how to do flat twists too. 
Um, so she did some flat twist on my head and then, you know, put the little roller things at the end because the end that still had the perm wasn't gonna curl. So I had to put in the little, the little roly things. I don't know what they're called. Roly things. It was the next day I took them out and it was like, it was so weird seeing my hair like that. <laughs> seeing my hair curly like that was, I thought I looked so weird. Oh my gosh, because like I've had straight hair forever and you know, I've had curly weaves and stuff like that, but nothing like that. It was like short and it was like just really, really curly. And I'm just like, oh my God, I look like Shirley Temple. But oh my gosh, it was, it was weird. It took a long time for me to get used to, but Eventually I did and I kept watching more YouTube videos and doing some research, you know, so yeah, I could take care of this, yeah, I could style it, stuff like that. I mean, I still am a little bit lazy when it comes to my hair, like literally like two pins right here and to me that's a hairstyle. One day, um, I came out the shower after I had washed my hair. I came out the shower and I was looking at my hair and literally like my hair was just, my hair had maybe like this much perm left on it. like. It was most it was mostly natural hair and then it had like maybe like this much in length of um perm in it still. So I came out of the shower one day and I'm like, I don't wanna roll these. Like I don't wanna put them in the little rollers to have this much of it curled. So I just took the scissors and I took my hair and it was like so scary and I'm like and I just cut it. <laughs> and it was so weird. I'd like, I cut my hair and I'm like, and it, I've cut my hair before, but it was, it was more for like, I cut it for a style. Whereas this time I'm like, I'm cutting off the perm. I've been perming my hair for 12 years. And now like, this is all that's like left of it. It was so weird. And I, I literally, it's going to sound creepy. After I finished like, cutting them, like cut, cutting off the perm ends. Like I set it down on my dresser, like the hair, and I just stared at it and it was like, it was perm. And I looked at it and I'm like, that hair looks so dead. It was so dead, there's like nothing to it. So I took it and I like scraped it all in the garbage and it was just, it felt good. It felt good to just cut that off because A, I didn't have to put those rollers in there again. And B, I can finally say that yes, I'm 100% natural now and I'm not transitioning. 100% natural now, 100% natural. So it felt good to say that. <laughs> so like after that, um, I started, you know, embracing my curls and embracing my hair and doing more research on hair products and buying more hair products and learning how I can take care of my hair. And believe you me, at times it is very, very tedious to do your hair like twist outs or, you know, to curl them with, you know, setting things or to do flat twists or to do, um, you know, wash and goes and stuff like that. Sometimes it is tedious. Oh my gosh, and deep conditioning. <sighs> deep conditioning is the worst. It's the worst. I don't care what anyone says. Deep conditioning is the worst, but it's it's worth it. It's worth it because your hair just feels amazing afterwards, but oh man, the process to do your hair is not fun. So yeah, like I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys I've been natural for one year. It's like my one year natural hair anniversary and I wanted to make a video and I wanted to show you guys my journey, you know? I wanted to explain to you guys how I came like this, like that. And my hair is still growing. Hair is good. My hair is healthy. It's all natural. And I'm very happy that I have gone one year of being completely natural. I've been natural for one year. And girl, if you guys are thinking about going natural, do it. Just do it. It's unbelievable the feeling you get when you're just like, hey, Look how beautiful my hair is. I can't even like come on here and explain to you what that feeling feels like. But once you get that feeling, you're just like, it's, it feels good. It feels good. When I go in the shower to wash my hair, I can run my hand through it. And I never thought I could do that. Never thought that I could do that. And now I can. And it feels amazing and the, Curls are just the most beautiful thing 
that you will ever see and it just it makes me feel really really good so now I'm gonna go into my hair the hair montage part of the video I wanted to do it this way because I wanted to first talk to you guys and then just kind of show you guys my journey so now we're gonna go into a little montage and I hope you guys like that I do have a video coming out about how I do my twist outs it might be a two-parter because I kind of kind of messed up on the second part so I might redo it but yeah I do have a video coming out on you know how I do my twist outs and you know what products I use to do yeah yeah yeah, yeah whatever I do have a video coming out on how I do my twist outs so you know be on the lookout for that if you guys are curious at all how I do my hair how I do my twist outs and stuff like that but um I hope you guys like this video enjoy the montage and I will see you guys later it's so hard to like just do a simple introduction like to turn on your camera and to just be like hey guys welcome back to my channel that is so hard to do you kind of have to like practice it a million times whatever I'm gonna not try hey guys welcome back to my channel no seriously Oh my gosh. No, seriously, there is something in my eye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you. Let's do that one more time. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out and I'll see you guys later. Bye.